Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IS. My name is Pooja Devedi. Today we are going to discuss marine pollution becoming such a menace that plastic has reached one of the remotest islands in the world. What is this island? The geological features and how microplastics are being recorded as a part of geological reserve. That is also important from the perspective of GS Main's paper, first and prelims as well. So without any delay, let us look at these many topics that we are going to discuss step by step. Thanks to the human population that the plastic has reached to one of the remotest island. A recent discovery of rocks made of plastic debris, that means rocks are made of plastic debris, in the remote Brazilian island of Trindade Tri has sparked alarm amongst the scientist community. And Trindade Island is the easternmost and the most remote point of the Brazilian territory. And it is located about 1140 kilometers from the southeastern state of Espirito Santo. Trindade surfaced owing to volcanic activity under the Atlantic Ocean about 3 million years ago. And it, along with the Martim Vaz archipelago, about 40 kilometers away, hosts many species which are native, which are native flora and fauna, including seabirds and marine creatures. Turtles are also one of the most important, uh, you can say, reserves of it. Trindade is known for being one of the most important conservation and nesting spots both in Brazil and globally for green sea turtles. Okay? It hosts nearly 1800 nests annually on a small stretch of land. Native seabirds like the Trindade petrel and the great frigate bird which is otherwise only found in the Indo-Pacific and not the Atlantic. The surrounding regions also host many species of sharks, dolphins and corals. One of the most recent manifestations it is of alkaline volcanic activity in Brazil, the emergence of Trindade Island. It was first sighted in 1502 by a Portuguese sailor. After many attempts, they could not inhabit it. Right now, we see it is a free of tourist region. First, it was inhabited by humans only in 1730 when Azorian communities colonized the island. After that, no uh, colonization was there. Currently, it is a protected area not inhabited by any humans except for a small Brazilian Navy crew to look at the region and uh, it is a free of tourist zone. Then, the Parana University geologists currently, they found out through a study that melted plastic has become intertwined with the rocks in the island. Plastic reaching Trindade despite it being hundreds of miles away from the mainland was evidence of humans growing influence over the geological activities of the world. They ran chemical tests on the rocks to determine what kind of plastics were in the rock. It seems that it was called plastic agglomerates since they are made of mixture of sedimentary granules and other debris which were held together by plastic. These plastics are said to be coming from fishing nets because these are the common debris on the Trindade's island beaches. The nets are dragged by marine currents and accumulate on the beach. When the temperature rises, the plastic melts down and becomes a part of the rock. Then a clear manifestation of, it is a clear manifestation or a proof of Anthropocene. Anthropocene means generally what happens, this is the uh, extension and uh, you know changes, everything is a part of the cycle of the earth. But now it is being exaggerated by human intervention. And that is why it is a clear manifestation of the Anthropocene instead of the usual geological process which takes millions of years. And the UN Human Development Report of 2020 has noted that the Anthropocene, the age of humans for the first time in our history, the most serious and immediate even existential risks are human made and unfolding at planetary scale. Geological material are get, and getting preserved in the Earth's geological records, it is not a good sign. We can see these deposits in many places. Decades of overuse and a surge, this is the marine pollution issue. Decades of overuse and a surge in the short-lived single-use plastics have led to devastating level of marine air and all sorts of pollution. Nearly 12 million tons of plastics are swept into the oceans annually and gyres, which are described as islands of plastic. They also break down to microplastics, which are then consumed by marine wildlife and it remains there. Now, microplastics are plastic particles which are less than 5 mm in diameter. They contribute to over 80% of the debris, pure prelims fact. Scientists have discovered microplastics in a host of places, if we talk about the Swiss mountains and fresh Antarctic snow, to in human blood as well there are microplastics. So, I hope you understood the issue in detail. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.